This is the plaintiff, Irma Baltuck. She says the defendant's taking advantage of her daughter, and she's not about to stand by and let that happen. The defendant and her daughter rented a bug-infested apartment. Her daughter moved out, and now the woman's refusing to return the security deposit money. And she's here in the good name of justice, suing her for every penny of the $1,373.25 she deserves. This is the defendant, Erica Heisler. She says the plaintiff's her former best friend and ex-roommate's mother, and they had an agreement to share an apartment for a year. Unfortunately, the plaintiff's daughter was miserable, moved out after living there for just two weeks, and left her high and dry to pay the rent on her own. You can't just walk out on someone like that and then expect to get all your money back. She knows it, the plaintiff knows it, and so will the judge. She's accused of not playing nice. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case on the docket, the plaintiff and her daughter rented from the defendant and says it was bug infested, but the defendant says the plaintiff's daughter is the villain here. It's the case of don't bug me. Thank you, Douglas. Irma and Alyssa Baltuck, you are suing Erica Heisler for $1,373.25 that you claim she owes from a, an arrangement your daughter had with her to rent a place together that didn't work out. Okay, let's hear from you first. What's going on? Uh, yeah, my daughter and Erica agreed to be roommates. How, and... how long had you and her daughter known each other? Over 20 years. Really? So the two of you agreed to live together, and she's living in Florida at the time? She's not living in Florida at the time. She was visiting Florida when, we, uh, when I came upon this apartment. Okay. When you come upon this apartment, she has left to you the ability to pick out which apartment because she took I off? Had... Uh, I had been looking for the apartments for the both of us. And when you found it, did you send pictures to Alyssa? That's correct. All right. And did she say, go for it? She did. All right. Now, your daughter, when do you first hear how much, like, your daughter comes to you for the money to get, to swing this, correct? Well, I had told her since they started looking that don't worry about it, I will help you and we'll... Of get it out. So, All right, so when knows. do you first hear, Mom, we found an apartment? When do you hear that? Uh, Alyssa said uh, that she'd like to see the apartment. Erica sent her some pictures, and it's difficult from pictures to exactly see what you're getting. We came back from Florida, and Alyssa was told that this had, you know, uh, Erica needed the money for uh, the rent, the one month's rent. Just a second, ma'am. You wrote a check for how much? $2,900. Right. So when you write a check for $2,900, it's pretty clear that your daughter okayed it, right? Uh, Where's yes, your daughter? I'm sorry? Where? I don't know how to make the... Did I stutter? Where uh, is your daughter right now? My daughter now? is not here right I now. noticed. Yeah. Why is your daughter not here? Because originally, and what I was suing for was the money that I paid. Oh, well, why don't you and, hit your daughter up for it? She's the one you loaned it to. Uh, I didn't loan it to her. I gave her as a, I gave it to her as a gift. Well, then why are you suing her for it? Your because daughter gave it to I her feel... as a down payment. See, here's what happens. You end up, it's only your name on the lease, correct? Correct. All right. And so then okay. she moves in and she doesn't like it. What was her complaint? What was the problem? What was your daughter's complaint? Why didn't there, she like it? There were roaches, bugs in the apartment. The fact that the room that she had was a converted dining room into a bedroom. Wasn't she paying less rent because of that? Uh, that was the right. agreement. Your daughter was supposed was... to pay 800 and you were paying 1100 $1, Okay. And it, there was bugs. The uh, apartment was in a court and there were birds flying all over the place. So there was bird poop on all the windowsills, making it difficult kind of to open up a window if you wanted to get some air. Uh, the apartment itself wasn't the greatest apartment. Then don't rent it. But see, here's it what happens. You guys done. rent it, and then she wants to have no consequence as a result of her agreement. She moves out after how much time? Um, ex less than a month. And then when she moved out, were you two still friends at that point? Yes. Okay. We're, we're, we're estranged. I, she's a person in my life for 20 years, so it's not like I'm... We will speak eventually. You it's think? It's just her hard mother's right now. You. Yeah, and that's her mother, but that's not You think not it's her. all her mother? She's not sitting here right now. I noticed. Is she? No, yeah. I know. Okay, does this mother have a dog in this fight? What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> you don't know? 
No, not no, at all. I don't think so. Why? It's it's the daughter's issue. It's the daughter's issue. You buying that? No, it's it's a gift. Once you give a gift, it kind of goes into the wind. So it's not your thing anymore. Once you give it to somebody else. Yes. If, Can, if the mother sat at home and watched people court, she would know better. <laughs> you know, I feel precisely, precisely the same way. <laughs> that was that's the most incisive thing of the day. Okay, going inside the courtroom. So you end up re-renting to someone else. Correct. And that someone else pays you a security deposit, and what do you do with that? I, I give it back to her. <laughs> to who? To Alyssa. Since Alyssa was the one who handed me the money, I handed it back to her. I've canceled checks if you'd like to see it. How much was the entire security deposit for that place? One month's rent, $1,895. So were you guys splitting the security deposit? Correct. All right. So that means that what she should have gotten was half of that, which is 900 and what? 947.50. And how much did you return instead of that? $726.75. What accounts for the missing 227.75? That is for the first month's rent of the garage. Is that something that you were charged? Correct. Did you end up using the garage? No, that was used by Alyssa. Okay. So what you did was write a check for the 700 and something dollars which you felt was fair to give her back because you now had another roommate and you were able to handle second month on out. But I imagine that it must have been pretty distressing to think for a moment that you might end up living alone there and having to handle the whole nut. That's correct. Yeah. So let me ask you a question, Ms. Baltuck. Um, what, what would be your legal theory on why your daughter should have a consequence-free life like this? Where she, see, there's two contracts going on. One is the contract with the landlord. Your daughter's not even on that one. The landlord can't go sue your daughter. But the second contract is a verbal contract with her friend, where she says, give it a go. Here's the check. Let's get the place. I'll live there for a year, which your daughter breached. But why should my daughter, or me, or anyone pay for broker's fee that they're not happy in an apartment that has roaches, that the Let me building do, I want you, I want you to work with me here a second. So your I daughter am. sees an apartment, she likes it, and she rents it. And then she decides she doesn't want to live there. You think a broker's giving your daughter back a broker's fee? That's the decision that you make before you rent a place. If you decide to go to Florida and you're having a good vacation and nobody wants to take JetBlue back to go look at the place before you make a big, fast, couple thousand dollar decision that's supposed to last a year, that's on you. That's on you guys. If you delegate the authority to her, which is very clear, everybody's saying, yeah, we looked at it, we saw pictures, we liked it, we went, we went for it. Now you don't like stuff that's going outside the four walls of the apartment? You don't like that birds poo? <laughs> Come on. Well, first of all, I don't even, I don't even need to see a verdict for the defendant. And all I can say is, although it sounds like Alyssa, how old are you guys? I'm 33. She's 34. Are you kidding me? Okay. Look, I, listen, I live very enmeshed with my mother, too. And I'm hoping to completely enmesh myself in my three, da <laughs> myself in my three daughters' life. Alyssa is trying to break away the best she can on this topic if she stayed away today. All right? Um, so I hope your friendship is able to be repaired Thank you. at some point. Verdict for the defendant on the plaintiff's claim. Well, the plaintiff is not able to prove her case in court. Ms. Baltuck, what do you think of what the judge just told you? Her what decision? do I think? First of all, I wasn't even given a great opportunity to speak. So that, that forgetting <laughs> about all of that, that what would I have said? Uh, I would need an hour. Do you have an hour? No, I don't so have an hour. So then let's, you know. OK, that's the door. Here comes Erica now, the defendant. You know, I'm, I'm intrigued to wonder, is Alyssa aware of this lawsuit taking place? Do you know? I believe she's aware only because I made her aware you did. through friends. Okay, I, and the judge said she hopes you can repair this friendship. It I would seem so to me you, you feel the same way, don't you? I feel so, I, I, I do. Yeah, okay. Well, look, it worked out. You know, now I can de-stress. De-stress? You'll feel better? Hopefully. Okay. Congratulations. Yes. All right. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank Hope you. things work out. Harvey? You know, Doug, I got to say, it is really mature of the defendant to say that she can get past this with the plaintiff's daughter and they can become friends again. We don't see that a lot in the people's court.